Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today uh, I got a, another one that I've never listened to before. As I've stated in a previous video, this is me on my quest to become the perfect metalhead. Today we got Fu Manchu, which is a band that I have never listened to before to my knowledge. I think the name put me off a little bit. So a Fu Manchu is like a, a very long mustache. Um, I don't know if it has any other meaning besides that. It could, I have no idea. But yeah, today we're gonna check them out and see what we got going on. This is a band that I have seen like tours come through my city and stuff like that, but I've never bothered to like sit down and listen. I think one of the reasons I've never seen them live is because they typically, for whatever reason, have toured with bands that I also don't really particularly care for, to, as far as I remember. But anyway, we're gonna check out the number one song right now on Spotify, which is Eaten Dust. It is off their record, Godzilla's Slash Eaten Dust. I'm not quite sure what to expect. I'm kind of thinking it's going to be Stoner, maybe, or like Doomish. Could be something sort of similar to Mastodon. That's the vibe I get from them anyway. But yeah, we're going to check out Eaten Dust. Let's get into it. Okay, I wasn't really wrong. This riff is a little bit audio slave to me. Something about the guitar tone, I think. Very fuzzy. Lots of crackles in the uh, the tone here. So, right away, it's quite. I quite like it. I like the verse riff quite a bit, um, at least so far. I'm not 100% sold on the sort of gang vocals that are coming left and right of the of my cans here. And the guitar solo is kind of nice. It's a little bluesy little thing, which is totally cool. Yeah, let's see what we got going on in the chorus, which I'm sure is coming up. We'll just dial it back a little. Got a nice little groove to it. Production sounds good on the drums. Little double time section, that's cool. Another guitar solo. Cool. Do it again? Nah. I mean, it's still cool, but. Alright, all right, all right, all right. They're holding that feedback in the background.
Sweet. So yeah, very clearly a live recorded band. You can definitely tell with the guitars, it's just layered, different amps, maybe even different guitars layered um, for each rhythm track. And that's really cool. The bass was bassing. It sounds nice and thick and full. Uh, the drum production sounds great. Again, this is the thing, man. You don't need to nitpick every little note and every little hit of the drum. You know what I mean? Like, um, I know lots of people have been talking about quantizing lately and definitely for a band of this speed where it's like, it's not, you know, very gridded and very fast, you know, you can be a little loose with it and, and just kind of play. And as a musician and as a guitar player, I think that is excellent. I think that is awesome. It just is how music should be recorded. It should be sort of as much as you can, one take um, or a couple of takes, but sort of like take the whole track, you know what I mean? Have a little bit of the finger flub, have a little bit of the scratchiness of the hands or the guitar pick, whatever. My last video, we were doing a lot of stuff with more modern metal. And so it's nice to see the contrast between like these very overproduced songs and something like this, where it's a little bit more bare bones and in the dust and in the dirt and you know it's kind of garage rocky in a way um but it has that nice fat sound i think they sound great uh i'm actually quite liking this it, it's kind of just a rock band to me like i i think the um the doom thing right like doom metal and the stoner rock or stoner doom or whatever else I think there's like a fine line between like a rock band and a metal band. This to me sounds like a rock band. And like I said, it's a very thin, it's a very thin line with when it comes to that genre of music. You know, if you consider them metal band, I don't really give a shit. It is what it is, but that was quite enjoyable. I liked it. Um, I'll have to check out some more. Looks like this one was from 2010. Uh, they've got apparently back in the eight, sorry, 85. So lots of material to go back to. So maybe we'll try another song another time or something like that. I don't know. But um, yeah, it was nice to check out Fu Manchu finally, after many years of knowing who they are. <laughs> One of those uh, I've heard of them, but I haven't listened to them. So cool, man. Nice to short one. We'll keep it straightforward and to the point. Um, we'll see what we do in the next one and I'll catch you there. Deuce.